Hello, my name is Kathleen Schreier Rogers, and I am going to be talking about enrollment, the Student Information System, SIS, and Tiger Center. This module will provide you an overview of enrollment at RIT, what you can expect, and other important information. Your first schedule was created by the IGM advisors. It will be your responsibility to enroll in classes for future terms. Enrollment for spring semester generally begins in mid-November. Enrollment for fall semester typically begins in mid-April. Enrollment opens to students on a rolling basis during the period of one week. The date and time when you can begin enrolling in classes for a term is called an enrollment appointment. Enrollment appointments are virtual appointments. Students are not physically required to attend an appointment. Enrollment appointments will be assigned in half-hour increments throughout the day with approximately 300 students assigned to each appointment block. During enrollment week, enrollment on Monday is for graduate students. Tuesday, enrollment is for fifth and fourth year students. Wednesday, enrollment is for third year students. Thursday, enrollment is for second year students. And Friday, enrollment is for first year students. There are exceptions. Please check the IGM enrollment guide for more information. The enrollment appointment is randomly assigned and will likely change every semester. It is important to keep in mind that once an enrollment appointment is assigned, it cannot be changed. The university recognizes that students may have conflicts with their enrollment appointment start time. However, once an enrollment appointment begins, students will be eligible to enroll in classes through the add drop period, which is typically the first six business days of the term. It is very important that you prepare for enrollment before your appointment. RIT provides various tools to help you get ready. The CS Schedule Maker helps you to create several mock schedules. We encourage you to create two to three mock schedules. Ideally, you would be able to enroll in all of your first choice classes. However, that is not always the case and it's important to have other options available to you. Approximately three to four weeks prior to the start of enrollment, your shopping cart will open. This enrollment tool was developed by students from the Computer Science House. You can use this tool to create several mock schedules. The iGym advisors strongly encourage you to start working on potential schedules early and return often to tweak as necessary. The shopping cart is used to help you manage your selection of courses. Keep in mind that you are not enrolled in courses simply because they are in the shopping cart, nor are you guaranteed a seat in the class because of it. The term shopping cart appointment signifies the point in time the enrollment shopping cart becomes available to you. Shopping carts become available to all students at the same time and is available for planning purposes. Using the enrollment shopping cart is not optional. All students will need to use the shopping cart to pre-plan their enrollment transactions. You can find your shopping cart appointment date in the Student Center. Once you have placed courses in your shopping cart, you have the ability to validate your course selections. By validating course selections, you will be alerted to potential issues that may arise during your enrollment appointment. If you have a hold that will prevent enrollment, the validation process will tell you. The validation process will also notify you if any of your courses conflict with each other, if you are trying to enroll in multiple sections, and if you don't meet the prerequisites. It is very important that you validate your shopping cart so any potential issues can be resolved well before your enrollment appointment. When shopping carts open, you will be assigned your enrollment appointment date and time you'll be able to see the date of your appointment in the SIS Student Center. Click on the details link to find your appointment time. The section circled in red shows you where you can see that this student's enrollment appointment starts on April 24th at 3.30 p.m. Remember, your appointment indicates when the enrollment system becomes available to you. You have the ability to change your class schedule through the end of the add drop period of that term. 
Tiger Center is a student-developed interface for SIS. You can use Tiger Center to search for and enroll in classes. You can also find your enrollment appointments, advisor assignments, holds, exam schedule, and a GPA calculator. You are able to access your Academic Advising Report, or AAR, in Tiger Center, a tool which helps you to track your progress to graduation. The section circled in red shows you where you can find out when shopping carts open and when your enrollment appointment is scheduled to occur by scrolling down to the bottom of the main page below your current class schedule. The section circled in red shows you where you can see a shopping cart in Tiger Center. Click on the box on the left of the main screen in order to find the enrollment drop-down menu, then select Cart. Once you have placed courses in your shopping cart, you have the ability to validate your course selections. By validating course selections, you will be alerted to potential issues that may arise during your enrollment appointment. Remember, it is very important that you validate your shopping cart so any potential issues can be resolved well before your enrollment appointment. If you are having trouble validating a course that you believe you should have the ability to take, please contact your advisor ASAP. It's in your best interest to get the problem resolved before your enrollment appointment. Don't forget to enroll in the courses you have selected. Remember, placing courses in your shopping cart does not guarantee a seat in the class. That's why you should create several schedule options so you have a backup plan in case the course or courses you want are filled. Once you enroll in your courses, you will be able to see your courses in the top section of the page in class schedule. If you have a hold on your account, you will not be able to enroll in classes until the reason the hold was placed is resolved. You can find out if a hold is on your account in the Student Center. Click on the Details link in the Holds box to find out what the hold is in regards to and who to contact to get the hold resolved. Common holds are Student Financial Services, Advising, and Student Affairs. You can find any holds on your account in Tiger Center as well by scrolling down to the bottom of the main page below your current class schedule. The swap feature is a very useful tool that not many students know about. The best way to explain this tool is to give you an example. You would like to enroll in Section 4 of Math 185, however, it is closed. There is another section, Section 6, of Math 185 that is open, but it doesn't fit your schedule as well as Section 4. The system will not allow you to be enrolled in two different sections of the same class. If you enroll yourself in Section 6 and place yourself on the waitlist of Section 4, hoping to be enrolled if a spot becomes available, it won't happen unless you have a swap set up. A swap tells the system that if a spot opens up in Section 4, it should automatically drop you from Section 6 and add you to Section 4. This shows you how to swap a class in Tiger Center. You can also swap classes in SIS. Please ask your advisor for instructions on how to do so. Your academic advisor is here to help you through the enrollment process. Please view the other modules to learn how to use your academic advising report, your AAR, learn more about perspectives, and other useful topics. Your advisor is available via email, by appointment using Starfish and SIS or my courses, and the team has walk-in hours, Monday and Wednesdays, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., Tuesdays and Thursdays, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., and Fridays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Good luck!